Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we talk about the customizable contact photo screens which you have available on the iPhone. How do you do it? How does it work? First of all, a disclaimer that I need to say is that this only works within the iOS 17, so which is at the moment in the beta stage. Unfortunately, when the when it until it gets like released for the public, you cannot just install it unless you are a beta tester. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But it soon is going to become reality. So the way to set it up is by going and opening up the contacts app, and of course, just go ahead and create a new contact. So create a new contact like this or tap on the plus icon at the top. Type in any name that you want. So let's say it's going to be Alex. Now tap on photo, add photo, and it can literally be anything. So just go to the photos and here the photo of my dog. Let's continue. This is just a profile picture. This is not the contact um, photo entire thing which shows up when they call you. So tap on the next and here you actually get the contact poster. So this is the section where you can set it up to, to see what appears when they actually call you. This is what we wanted to get. So as you can see, here is the decline and accept button, the actual screen. And as of right now, it's blank. So we can now capture something right from the camera if we want, or just bring in another photo from the gallery. So let me just bring in something. I don't even know what it's going to be in the plant right here. I'm going to add it like this. I can change and um, change up the styles. I can type in and change the font of the text, change the color of the text, whichever thing I want to customize, I have the option to. You can see again that if I just pinch in and zoom it in like this, I'm going to be able to make the thing cover the actual photo or the text like this. I mean, I should be able to do it. It works especially well if you have an actual a photo of someone because here we don't have the clear edges. But if I bring something else like an iPhone, I'm going to be able to put it slightly. I believe I should be able to put it slightly in front of the text to create an in-depth effect. But that's not really the point because you can put here whichever thing you want or you can just use the Memoji. So you can use that, for example and customize it, change like the angle or whatever. And as you can see, that's what I was talking about. It covers the text a little bit. So yeah, you can put it like this if you want or change it to something else. There are plenty of options which you have available. You can change the background color to match it, make it look like this. So that's an option as well. Or you have the monogram. If you tap on it, this is basically the letter or a couple of letters which you can add. I don't find it very useful, but you have the option to change it. We have the option to change the color of the background as well. So that's something to keep in mind. This is how it works. So yeah, this is the whole process of creating personalized contact photos or personalized contact posters. Now when you go like this, this is the page or a screen that shows up when they call you. Doesn't look that good, but this is what it looks like. To edit it, you have two options. You can edit the profile picture like this or edit the page or switch to a different one, just like you switch the wallpaper on your iPhone. So I hope I explained it to you properly. In case you want to see more content and videos like this one, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up and see you later. Peace out until then.